Where do you want to be one year from today? Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagey, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you're ready to start this week off great and do some big things this week. What I want to talk about today is building off what we talked about on Friday with the Bigger Future Goal Setting Program. Um, we want to today go into figuring out exactly where you want to be in a year from now. But before we do that, the same thing we do every Monday is we want to talk about your accountability for the week, what you need to achieve this week. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. We do this every Monday and Friday. We talk about the things that you need to do this week so that on Friday you can look back, say it's been a successful week, and also that you're closer to your bigger goals. If you don't have clearly defined written out goals, go to jeffhagey.com slash goals. Go through my goal setting program, Bigger Future Goal Setting. It's an effective program to really help you understand where you are and where you're trying to go and then figuring out how you're going to do those things. So on Friday, we're going to look back and say, okay, how did you do? But the most important part is one, being held accountable, two, understand where you're going, and three, is it getting you closer to your bigger goals? When you go through the goal setting program, we want to make sure that all the things that we're working on are always working towards getting you closer and closer to those bigger goals. So if you're one of my coaching clients, you would have received your email this morning for your accountability follow-up. Make sure to fill that out and get back to me. If you're not, we want you to be held accountable. We want you to feel like someone's checking up on you, that you've got to do these things this week. So whatever it is you're going to do this week, if you're watching or listening to this on social media, leave me a comment, send me a DM, or email me at jeff, um, jeff at jeffhagey.com and let me help hold you accountable. But either way, let's get into this. So if you're watching this, uh, you can see this workbook here. This is the Bigger Future Goal Setting Program Workbook. Even if you just go to jeffhagey.com slash goals so that you can get that workbook, it's going to be helpful. There's a lot of stuff in there that I'm not going to talk about in these um, episodes. But last week we talked about getting your clarity, understanding your truth of where you are right now. You've got to understand where you are and then figure out where you want to go and figure out how you're going to get there. So last week we talked about figuring out where you are, figuring out that your, your current reality and there's other things in here that I'm not going to go through in these episodes, like the 101 goals, um, those sort of things. It's a great uh, exercise to go through. But what I want to do right now, um, just reviewing again, last week we did the self-assessment and then your current reality. Now I want to talk about future pacing. So the way we do this is I want you to take a look at where you want to be in one year from now. What does your life look like? if everything you wanted went perfect in this next year what's your life going to look like in your business and career what's it going to look like with your family and friends with your finances your health your spirituality your personal development all of those things i want you to look at that and say okay one year from now this is what my life looks like everything went perfect everything went perfect in my career with my family all of those things in every one of those areas and sit down and start writing about it Visualize that and really write down what that perfect year turned out to be like. All the things that you achieved, all the things that you received, all the things that you got. And then I want you to take a look at that after you've spent some time to really think about that and really spent some time writing it out and visualizing what that looks like. That's where I want you to start pulling your goals because those things that you achieved throughout that year, those are the things we want you to do this year. We want you to achieve those things that make it the perfect year. And we're gonna turn those things into our goals. And you know, we talk about SMART goals. We want those goals to be SMART, which is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and have a time frame allotted to them that you're gonna accomplish them by. So what I want you to do is spend that time really visualizing what that perfect year looks like, and then break it out into five of your top goals that you need to achieve to make that your perfect year. And then as you look at those five goals, make them the SMART goals. Like I said, be specific, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and the time you'll accomplish them by. So when you're, when you're able to do that, you've got your goals established. The next steps we're gonna go through, and I, I probably will do a separate episode on this because it's such an important part of it. In this process, the next step is the seven levels deep. And what the seven levels deep is, is something I learned from Dean Graziosi, but it's a process of looking at each of your goals and figuring out your why, figuring out your purpose behind it. Because those are the things that when things get tough and you 
don't have the energy to keep pushing towards that goal. When you really understand your why, that without going through this process, you probably won't really understand it on a deep level. But when you really understand your why, it's gonna help you push, push through. So it's probably one of the most important steps in this entire process, but I'm not gonna go through that right now. But the next steps would be doing that, figuring out your why, and then the following up would be creating your plan. What are you gonna do? If you wanna be at that point in one year, what do you have to do month to month? What do you have to do week to week? And then that's how this all falls together on Mondays when we say, what are you gonna do this week so that you're getting closer to your bigger goal? So again, I think the best way for you to do this is go through the program because in the video, I'm gonna go into more details and all of those things than I am in this in these episodes. But these episodes mostly are to answer some questions and for those that aren't willing to take the steps and go through the program. But jeffhagey.com slash goals, I encourage you to go get that. And I probably will this week do an episode on the seven levels deep because it is such an important process. But start one step at a time. We've understand what, where we are, our clarity, our current, our current reality. Now we're looking at our goals, figuring out those goals. So make sure you get through those couple steps and then we'll go from there and keep continuing to build on it. But thanks for being with me. Please go out and share this with someone that really helps me out when you guys do that. And again, I've still got some opportunities for those that want to look at it. Go to jeffhagey.com slash best year ever. Um, taking on a couple more into that program. Uh, got some really cool people joining me there and we're doing some really cool stuff. So love to have you check that out. Thanks for being with me and I will be back tomorrow. Hey, athletes and parents of athletes. So much time, money, and effort is put into the physical aspect of your sport to become the best you can be. But the mental game, it's often neglected and it's just as important as the physical game. In fact, it's usually the differentiator between the good and the great athletes. Come and join me in the Confident Athlete Program where you'll learn to control your confidence, develop a powerful mindset, and unlock your full potential. Go to jeffhagey.com slash confident athlete to find out more. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, some of you may know this, but in addition to my coaching, I've recently joined Geneva Financial Home Loans, a mortgage lender headquartered in Chandler, Arizona as a mortgage loan originator. I've always had a passion for serving others, and now I'm proud to also be a part of Home Loans Powered by Humans. If you're in the state of Arizona and looking to take the next step in your journey, contact me at 801-830-3858 to start the conversation. NMLS number 42056, BK number 0910215, Equal Opportunity Lender.